talk about this money, nigga. Cut to it. I, I got bank, 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 so today I'm back with another video. I just got out the shower and I felt like it was best to do this when I first got out the shower because this is how I maneuver. This is exactly how I wash my face and do my hair. I normally wash my face in the shower as I told y'all a long time ago. I like to do everything while I'm in the shower. Brush my teeth, wash my face, and of course clean my body. Just because I feel like why get out of the shower then to come to the sink to wash your face and then brush your teeth when you're already in water that's all over your body. You can just go ahead and brush your teeth, wash your face, and your body all at once. Anyway, that's not here or not there. Here nor there. So today I'm going to be using Frank Body Creamy Face Scrub. Um, it looks like this, for those of you who don't know. Now I purchased this at Bloomingdale's. This runs for about $25 after tax. I think like $21 before tax, $25 after tax. Um, this is a very good line now about this product. It's coffee. So what I normally do when I wash my face, because my face is already wet from the shower, wet my face now with this you really don't need a lot and this is an exfoliator which means it has I don't know if you can see but it has like them it's coffee grinds inside so it's like blended up coffee grinds inside of whatever else they mix it with now I feel like this is so good to use because people with acne people with pimples all of that is backed up dirt on your face so you need a good exfoliator, which has like little beads or something on it, which you can see against right here on my face. This is the coffee. So I do this once a day, and I'm going to tell you why. I do this only once a day because coffee, well not just only coffee, but an exfoliator isn't good to use on your face maybe more than one time a day because of the harsh stuff that's inside like such as the coffee you can burn your skin and it'll make your skin very sensitive so if you like to wash your face two times a day I would recommend that you get the exfoliator and they also have a cleanser I'm not crazy over cleansers I like exfoliators because you know I'm all about my skin and keeping my skin up to par with everything so this is why I get the exfoliator and I only use it once a day so at nighttime when I wash my face, I use Dove Soap, which is also good for the body and for everything else as well. So you just rub this in. And when you rub, um, I rub kind of hard because the point of an exfoliator is to get all of the dead skin off of your face. So I rub everywhere. Some people who have sensitive skin, I wouldn't recommend an exfoliator just because this is like a very rough skin product because of the coffee inside of it. So definitely don't go and get this if your skin is um, sensitive. And then by scrubbing, it's taking off that top layer of dead skin, which everyone needs to let go of. So then I just wash my hands. I'm doing this in a towel. Like I said, I just got out the shower. I let this sit for about two to three minutes. So when your three minutes is up, you run the water, and of course, you just wash this off. I rub it in a circular motion even when taking it off because I don't just want to slap my face all the way down. So when you take it off, just rub it in a circular motion. Okay, so as you see, I just washed all of this off. Now, they say paper towels are harsh for your face. My mom buys plenty and bounty and stuff like that, so it's very soft. So what you do is just pat, pat, and you want to make sure you get all of this water off because my next product is a liquid. So you don't really want water on your face when you put this liquid on because it's like, okay, what is the point? And if you see like around the hairline, sometimes you're going to have a little brown stuff come off but that's just the coffee so don't get worried so yeah i always wipe around the headline but i always pat on the face
underneath the eye above the eye the eyebrow okay so like i said i use two paper towels one is to pat the other one i fold like this in half and then i fold the other one halfway as well so when i fold it halfway i all go and get my witch hazel now this witch hazel you can buy at your local drugstore your local pharmacy how do you pronounce this thayer's natural remedies witch hazel lavender scent so this goes for about six dollars, six ninety nine, seven ninety nine. Um, this is really good. Now I didn't really do research on witch hazel. I just seen like a lot of people, like a lot of MUAs use witch hazel on their face. I'm like, fuck it, let me just go and get some witch hazel. But to me, this tastes off like the excess dirt that the exfoliant didn't take off. So if you feel like your face is still a little oily or um dirty or something i would just go over it with my witch hazel and this is what you rub you rub this all on the face and i know for a fact that witch hazel is alcohol free so even if it did get in your eye you don't have to worry about it burning or anything of that sort always get underneath your neck too because people forget People tend to forget that your neck is still a part of your face. So even when you're getting your makeup done, when they put the makeup on your face, they're supposed to apply a little makeup on your neck as well. So if they don't, I don't know what's wrong with them, but yeah. My makeup artist always just dusts a little um, blush or not blush, but what is it? Powder foundation. There we go. Powder foundation on my neck. So I'm wiping, wiping, okay. So you see it's not a lot of excess dirt, it's just to make sure that you don't have anything left over after that. So now my next product, Mario Badescu Skin Care, this is rose water. Let me see, can you see? So you can tell I'm almost done. You also get this at Bloomingdale's. This goes for about $8 or $10 in Bloomingdale's. This is a toner. So this corrects like your dark spots, um, dark spots, uneven skin tone and stuff of that sort. So what you do after your witch hazel, so you just, now I look glossy. So you don't pat it to dry or anything. Walk around your house, five, 10 minutes, let this dry. What is that, a piece of paper? Let this dry, fan yourself. And then when you're done, I'll come back and I'll let you know what you're gonna use to moisturize your face. Okay, so I'm back. It looks wet, but it's not wet at all. This is actually the look that it gives you. The rose water is a toner, once again, that I mentioned. It leaves you with that glossy look, but your face will like uh, still be a little dry. So then we come in with our French Girl Oil. French Girl Nectar de Neroli. I believe it's from France. If I'm not mistaken, French Girl Organics. This is also from Bloomingdale's. Let me show y'all. Uh, can you see so that's what this looks like now this is the oil for your face this gives you a glow this gives you hydration in your face if your face is very dry even if your face is oily this is what the witch hazel is for and this is also what the tone is for it tones down your oily skin and if your face is dry it hydrates your face so this works for both type of skin types um, so yes, you don't need a lot at all because with this product, a little is even way too much sometimes. So you just squirt one, two, and you have to be careful because it shoots out very far and fast. You rub it in your hand and then you dab, 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 and then you just massage it in. Massage it in. Get above your eyelid, on your eyebrow. And please excuse my eyebrows. My birthday is on Saturday, January 19th. So I'm not getting anything done until Thursday the 17th and Friday the 18th. So yeah, you rub everything in. 
And like I said, don't forget about your neck. Your neck is important just as much as your face is. Especially men. Men, if you're watching this video as well, you have facial hair, you get razor bumps. Take care of your under neck. If that's what it's called, your under neck. Well, your neck, period. Just take care of this shit. So you rub this all in. Perfect. And it gives you this glow. So when people ask, why am I always glowing? It's that nectar, the nectorio, nectori. French gal. Glowing from all angles. Period. So about my stretch marks, I have stretch marks on my breast as well. I don't know if this is a part of skin. Well, it is skin because it is on my skin. Um, I use cod liver oil. Now, cod liver oil is a vitamin that is for... Healthy immune system, your blood pressure, your heart, your brain, your joints, and your skin. Now, ladies out there who shrug, struggle with stretch marks, pop the pill in half or cut the top of the pill and squeeze the liquid out of the pill and put it in a little bottle. So that's exactly what I did because I suffer from stretch marks ever since I got my breast implants because I got a very huge implant. I went from a C cup to a triple D and you can tell that that is a huge difference. I skipped D, I skipped double D and I went to triple D. So I dragged it with the size of my breast implant, but that's okay. Um... So yeah, because of that, I have stretch marks. So with stretch marks, you get this cod liver oil, you cut the pill, you squeeze out the oil, and you rub it on wherever the affected area is with the stretch marks. Now, it doesn't just have to be on your breast. If you have stretch marks on your buttocks, if you have stretch marks underneath your buttocks, because I suffer from stretch marks underneath my buttocks as well, which I don't know why. But anywhere on your body, ladies and gentlemen as well, Cut that cod liver pill, squeeze out the oil, try to get as much as you can. This was what? $5.99 and it comes with 100 soft gel pills. So cut that soft gel pill. This is what it looks like. Cod liver oil. $5.99. Cut it in half, squeeze that oil out and rub it on the affected area once a day. And also for my scar that I was telling you about, I got Mederma. Moderma. And Moderma is also good for scars, new and old scars. So it doesn't matter how old the scar is, it doesn't matter how new the scar is. If you have a scar that you want to get rid of and someone told you that the scar isn't going to go anywhere, they lied to you. Go grab your Moderma at your local pharmacy as well. So now with my hair, I will be back after I'm dressed and we'll get into that. All right, so now that I'm all dressed and everything, I have my shirt on, my pants on and everything. This is the same ponytail that I had when I made my other video and I shouted out Sha Fuego, um, Styles by Sha. So today I'm going to do something different with my hair. I'm actually going to put this into a bun because the ponytail is very messy because I've been like sleeping on it nonstop. So yeah. I felt like there's no need to keep it in the ponytail. I'm just going to make a low bun out of it. I don't even have a scrunchie. Anyway, you see how it looks right now. So let's get this together. I always have a spray bottle of water. Uh, hello. There we go. No. I need it to be like more misty, if you understand what I'm saying. All right. So I normally spray the top of my hair all around it because you know I have like edge control and gels and stuff in my hair. So when I do that, I take my brush and then I brush it in the direction it's supposed to be in, which of course, in this case, is sideways. Brush it. And the, it really doesn't matter what it looked like right now. 
the what matters is the finished product because that is the point that's what's going to be shown so you push everything back we just want to make sure that the top is neat you know what i'm saying i use this little edge control style factor edge booster and these you find in your local beauty supply store. They have these in so many colors. If you haven't seen it before, I'm telling you, these shits are legit. Like, this is something that I mess with. This is something that I fuck with. Point blank, period. I fuck with this. It's edge control, but I use it for my whole head because my hair is so soft that I can never find anything to hold my hair. So... I can never find nothing that will hold my hair in place besides this, especially my edges. Y'all know I've been telling y'all for a while, I have yet to find anything that holds my edges up. And when I tell you that this shit holds my edges, like this holds my edges like no other. So I'm just going to spray my hand now. Spray my hand with some water. So that we can get that like gel. It's going to be like a type of jelly. If you know what I'm saying. So now that it's like jelly texture. This is the perfect time to brush everything. Now I'm not a fan of edges. Like I really don't do my edges. Unless the style calls for it. And this is a low bun. So specifically. Like, why am I putting edges on this? I don't know. And I'm not going to. When I first got it done, though, she had put edges on me. So, I'm just brushing everything, basically. Like, you're about to brush everything into a low ponytail. Just going to brush. And brush. Hmm. Okay, so now that this is good, we can always go over the top later. I'm taking my Desaw Hair. This is the Loose Wave Desaw Hair 24 inches that I was telling y'all about. And you see it keeps its wave pattern. And it is so bouncy. Now I could leave it in a ponytail because this is cute. Walk around, you know, cute little ponytail, but no. I had it in a ponytail for some time. So, hold on. Let's just get this together a little more. This can definitely be flatter. There we go. Let's brush this into place. And then brush this side again. And this edge control is very firm. So, am I going to say, does it get flaky? It gets a little flaky, but it's not like gel. This type of flaky that this does, all right. This, yeah, this type of flaky that it does, it's nothing where it's like, oh my God, this is too flaky. I don't want to do this. No, it's nothing like that. It's, it, it's the type of flake that it's like, okay, I wet my hands really quickly. I'll go apply some water on it. And then the flakes is gone. That's the type of flaky it is. So I'm just going to wrap this. Let me see. I don't like the way this is looking. I'm trying to wrap this into a low bun. So I'm taking my desaw here. And I'm just going to wrap it. And then I'm going to keep on. All right. We get it somewhere. Ugh. Wrap. All right, perfect. So I'm just wrapping it. So as you can see, it's going to be like a low bun in the back of my head. So now with the bobby pins that I took out from the ponytail, I'm just going to place it where it needs to be. So 
so that the bun can stay. Come on, you ever hate that little piece of hair and it's like everything else looks fine, but it's just that one little ass piece of hair that just be blowing yours and you be like, bro, like you're not about to fuck up my whole hairstyle because you want to fucking misbehave and not stay in place like you're so fucking supposed to. All right, let's get this one deep inside. Perfect. So this doesn't look bad. Um, it definitely can be neater. But I'm going out with my friends. And we're going to like this hookah lounge slash bar. So, yeah, it's no need to like try to have it perfect. I feel like this looks good enough. I am going to um, just gel it down a tad bit more. The more water it has on it, the easier it is to form the hair. Because once this edge control is on it, like I'm telling you, this is something that you won't have to touch for about two or three more days. So you do your edges nicely and you go outside that night, that whole night, even if you're sweating, you'll be fine. You come back home, you'll be fine. You just have to make sure that you wrap your hair the proper way if you want your edges to stay put. Wrap your edges with like a scarf or, you know a lot of hairstylists now are making like their own edge wrap while they put their front tools and stuff on. So get you one of those, go support somebody. Um, there's Andre Cavassier who has his own hair wraps out. Her name is Ashlyn. Her um, Instagram is your hair plug. She has her own um, hair wraps out. And they're like pretty cheap. I think they're going for about like $8 right now. So you can use it for several different things, clearly. So yeah, this is what it looks like now that I put it into a low bun. I feel like it looks really fine. I look very Spanish. It's like, slick back, mamita. Oh, my God, mamita, mamita, mamita. But I don't care. I like it. Just make sure that this stays in place. But once I head outside, it's going to be cold anyway, so I'm pretty sure it's going to stay. So, yeah, that is pretty much all I use on my hair when I'm doing, like, a slick look. Especially when I have a ponytail. You know, ponytails tend to get very messy very fast. Because you don't, people don't like, it's not like it's a doobie or a wash and set. And it's like, all right, I'm going to go home. I'm going to go put my net on and put, like, you know, wrap my hair in a doobie. You can't do that with ponytails. So I always wrap it around. Then I put a scarf. Then I wrap the ponytail in a circle. Then I put the bonnet on. It was like a lot of hand movements. But I figured you got what I was saying. So we're going to put my water back. But like I said, this Edge Booster um, Style Factor, this is like the best thing ever. As you can tell, it holds my hair so perfectly. It doesn't, I wouldn't say it gets hard, but it is stiff. But that's how edges are supposed to be. You don't want no soft ass edges. That's the reason why people have these problems that they have today. Because y'all always trying to use someone's fucking product. And y'all always swear that someone edge control works for y'all. I'm telling you now, if you have yet to find an edge control that works, Edge Booster. And they have different scents, different flavors. I think mm, this one's like raspberry or something. Let me see. Mm, doesn't say. But this is like raspberry or something. Long story short, it smells really, really good. It holds really, really good. And that's that was the point of it. So, ooh. Big titties all up in his face, sir. But uh, that was it on my skin and my hair routine. That's what I do on a regular basis. I don't do this every single day with my hair, but I do this, of course, if I have a ponytail or if I want to make a bun. So you can see that we went from that long, raggedy-looking ponytail because I had it in for about two weeks, and I made this into, like, a nice, neat bun. And it came out good. Um, the link is going to be below for D Sore Hair. This is 24 inch loose wave. Don't forget. And please don't forget to go get your products from Bloomingdale's. Like, this is the best stuff that you can ever have. Honestly, for your face. Like, come on. 
So thank you all. Wait for my next video to drop after I'm dropping this one. Stay tuned for everything. I told you I was going to be more consistent. Please thank me. Please give me my props because I've been consistent because I said I was going to be consistent. I told you I'm a woman of my word. I'm going to be consistent. I am consistent. So I hope I make y'all happy. I do this for y'all and I'm out. I'm gonna sip that jack till I pass out